Hi guys, my name is Abby, and I know for now, once you hear that name, just know there is a new product in the market, and today it happens to be an electronic kitchen scale. So this is it. This is how it looks. So this thing is used to measure the weight of different products or different things that you have in your kitchen. For example, you want to try a new recipe and you've seen maybe in a video for those who like to try new recipes, you're supposed to measure an, a certain weight and you don't have it. So this is the one that you're going to use. It's an electronic kitchen scale and it comes with an extra batteries here, yeah, a pair of batteries. So this is how it looks like like that so for for those who depend on the ancestors to know the weight of something for example putting salt in your food until you hear something says stop so that has to come to an end you can simply use this one so for the two batteries I'm going to use this one that I had already unpacked to show you how simply you can use it so back here there is somewhere you can place the batteries Like that that wasn't hard like that so the first thing you do you turn it on so once you turn it on on the screen right here you can see there is somewhere to display the weight so some of you might buy this thing in the purpose of weighing their weights no actually this thing has a capacity of just 10 kilograms just 10 kilograms so you cannot stand on it otherwise you'll break it so once you switch it on you can see right here there is a small arrow pointing to this G this actually stands for grams and down here there is the OZ it stands for the ounce so once you want to weigh your products you can choose either the grams and the ounce but honestly we are used to the grams so we are going to do with the grams then how to change it from grams to to on there is this mode button here you just press it and you can actually see the small arrow pointing to the on side so let's take it back to the grams mode like that so there is this other that button here called the tear what we do actually the tear you want to measure multiple products at the same time for example i had prepared some lemons here I want to measure these lemons and see how they weigh so the first thing I cannot place my lemons on this thing here you cannot place your sugar or your spices right here you have something to measure so for my case I have this thing here I place it like that so not forget this also has its weight so once I place it there it shows that it weighs 43 grams as you can see 43 grams so what I'll do, I'll just press the tear. This will take me back to zero, even if this thing is still on here, on top here. So it becomes zero. Then my lemon, I pick one piece, place it right there. So it has measured the weight for the lemon and it's actually 14 grams. When I place another one, it goes all the way to 27 grams. So those, that is the weight for the two pieces of lemon, 27 grams. So if I want to cover this tin, and I also want to know the the weight of the lid, I just press the tear, it will take me to zero. And after placing the tin, you can see it has gone to 73. So that is how you measure the different products using one tin. Once you've removed the products from the scale, you can actually see there is still some weight indicated right here. So in order for you to go back to zero, you just press the tear. And then you'll be back to zero so if you're weighing something else you just place it and it will weigh the weight and if you don't have anything else to weigh you just switch it off to save the battery like that so this thing can't be used in water you just wipe it using a damp cloth and you should not use it to weigh your weight i said the maximum capacity is just 10 kilograms so this was it the kitchen scale until I find something else for you guys. See you.